All right, so a question that we got is, how do alligators know the gender of other alligators? How do they tell them apart? Because you'll hear me often say, well, if it's under eight feet, we don't know. And in fact, even when it is over, we don't really know. So to back up for a second, how do we tell them apart? So if it's over eight feet, I usually assume that's gonna be a male. Females don't usually get over eight feet. She's an eight foot female. Now the record female though was 11 feet. That's crazy. That's like Dino. Like I've, that's, I've never seen that. That's though. like the seven foot four woman. Yeah, that's, that, that's very, very, very uncommon. That's like an outlier, right? So that's very uncommon. So generally speaking, over eight feet, probably gonna be a male. If it's under eight feet, you actually have no idea. You cannot visually tell. Uh, now, personally, sometimes I feel like they have like kind of a, a feminine face. Um, I don't think I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just say like, I feel like that one looks like it, you know, and, and sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong, you know. It's, well, it's a 50-50 shot, right? So, <laughs> so sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. I don't really know, but sometimes I feel like I can kind of tell the difference. Um, but I, again, I'm often wrong, so that's not a real thing. Uh, so anyway, so how do we actually know? So what we have to do, uh, we have to probe them. And if you know what that means, I usually say ask your parents, but we're actually going to, well, you gotta, they have a cloaca, okay, between the legs, they have an opening. The cloaca is the all-purpose opening, okay? And I'm not going to get weird about it, but let's just say everything comes and goes from this opening. All reproductive, all reproductive things, and then also uh, that's where they go to the bathroom out of, okay? So the cloaca is everything. Now on a male, male alligators do have a penis, but it is up inside. You can't see it unless they put it out. And they only put it out when they are ready to roll, basically. So chances are you're never going to see it. So what we'd have to do is we have to probe them. You have to stick your finger up there and feel for it, okay? And I mean, literally, that is what it is. I'm not making a joke. You've got to feel for it. It's pretty obvious, too. And I, the way I describe it is, like, when people, I'm having them do it the first time, like, what am I feeling for? I feel like it's like a triangle. Like, for me, I feel like it's a pointy triangle po poking back when I feel it. Is that not how you describe it? <laughs> I just generally don't describe it. I, I mean, it okay. It's a boy. Okay, but we'll think about it. What are you? You don't think you, that's you feel, accurate? Did you feel something? Yeah, it's it's like it's like a it feels like a bone. It's hard. <laughs> what do you want me to say? It's like a pointy triangle. Okay, sure. All right, I'm not even gonna get into that. Moving on. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm trying to explain it. I thought people would appreciate me. It's a post back. It's a boy. That's it. I mean, literally. Like if if you put your finger in there and you move it around and you don't feel anything, then it's a female. If you feel something in there, then it's a boy except we have a very unusual case that we had one time. Um, so there was an alligator that was like, it was a pretty, it, well, it was like eight foot, you know, and I'm like, could go either way, right? And put a finger up there and felt, I felt something and I'm like, okay, it's a boy. So we assumed it was a boy. And then we had other people also check it. It was a boy, you could feel the thing, right? And then fast forward and it paired up with one of the other males and we're like, huh. Okay, but, but don't get me wrong, male to male alligator sex happens all the time. In the breeding season, it is, uh, it is a party, okay? They, they all have sex with each other, male to male. You'll have male to male right here and the female sitting right there. So they do it all the time. So like, that didn't seem that unusual, except they really paired up, like, like all the time together. Usually during mating season, like I say it's, it's like a party. Um, the males don't like really pair up and hang out. They mate with each other, but like they're not like really hanging out together. And these two are really hanging out together. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty unusual, you know? And then it drops some egg follicles. Well, first it started attacking females and we're attacking like, this is the females. weirdest alligator ever. Yes, yeah, so attacking other females. And we were like, what is going on? And then um, sometimes they will drop egg follicles, not fully developed eggs, just like little tiny weird, like, and we're like, Oh, okay, we got to revisit this. And I put my finger up there and I felt, the, you know, something. That the felt, pointy triangle. It felt exactly like an alligator penis, except then when I tried to move my finger around it, I couldn't. And it was encased against, so like, I, I'm really trying to say this in a mature, non-graphic way, but like when you put your finger in and, and it is a female like that, you're going to feel the walls but there's nothing, you know, there's not, like you would normally feel the penis and then there would be walls if it was a male. And this one, I felt like against the wall, I felt what I thought was the penis, but then I tried to move my finger around it and you couldn't get around it. It was on the other side of the wall. And I'm like, whoa. 
so based on that behavior i'm like either this is a um oh my god what is the word hermaphrodite okay yes i wasn't sure i didn't want to say it because i wasn't sure if that was the right word that you were thinking of yeah. so, so either <laughs> I which i don't think i don't think uh that one is because well i don't know honestly i truly don't know but because i could feel that on the other side of the wall like because normally as soon as you feel it you just like okay i felt something you know like you're not trying to grab it like you're, you don't like really inspect it you know like with, when you feel for a female you're like absence okay female when you feel for a male you're like okay well there, there's something you don't like really you don't circle it you don't really feel around so you're like oh boom something poked me it's a boy you know so that's that's what everybody did with this female you felt the you felt something and you're like okay it's a male whatever and then when i try to move my finger around it i realize it's on the other side of the wall and you're like oh my god so this is a female or a hermaphrodite now it could be a female with some sort of um something i i literally have no idea a growth um an like injury maybe injury, like an old injury something out of place like i i have no idea but there was something again on the other side of the wall that you could feel that i mistook for a penis you know so it's just it was a crazy incident um and it was uh just big enough like it was that that animal was like right at like eight eight and a half feet so it could classify as a big female you know so either way so that was a very very weird one for me um, another weird one is we had an alligator many years ago at one of the parks named Carl and Carl was always trying to mount everybody and then during feeding time Carl was trying to mount somebody and had again normally it's tucked up but he had his out and it's very fleshy and he was trying to get somebody while we're feeding and one of the other gators felt that flesh and bit it right off took it right off and so Carl became Carlita and uh, Thankfully, though, we didn't really have to do much of anything. We consulted with the vet, and they were like, okay, you know, we can, like, you know, like, stitch it up or whatever, but, like, you don't actually have to do anything. I'm like, well, how's he going to go to the bathroom? They don't go to the bathroom through the penis. I didn't realize that either. The penis is strictly reproductive for alligators. So losing it doesn't change anything in his life except for reproductive ability. So it doesn't affect his ability to go to the bathroom at all. So that was really interesting in of itself, you know. But anyways, that's how we tell is what I'm getting at. Other ways that we could tell is uh, breeding behavior. So when they bellow, um, the males will have the water go up off of their back when they bellow. They also have a very deep bellow. You can clearly hear the difference. Like when a female bellows, they're like, Mah, Mah. and then when the male, it's just like, I can't even go that low. It's, just it's like, a boom. deep like, rumble. Huge, like very deep rumble. And you'll see the water go off their back, reverse raindrops from the low frequency sound. So it's really, really cool. Uh, the females, you're not going to see the water dance, and the males, you do. Except I have one guy uh, who works with alligators at another facility, and he said he has a female that does do the water dance. I don't know. Haven't seen it myself. Well, if it's about frequency, again, there's like weird things. There's outliers and like weird things, right? Or what if, what if the, the alligator uh, we worked with was a hermaphrodite? What if his is? Like, I have no idea. Is that common among them? I literally have no idea. Um, so, or... Did he misidentify his? What if his got the penis ripped off? Just like with the case of Carl. And then he checked it. Oh, there's no penis. It's a female. It's bellowing and producing the water dance. How? Oh, it's a, a, a unusual female? In a situation like that, you would have to do blood work, just like a bird. And, yeah. and that, you know, you would do like the, the testing through blood work. Or if you saw egg production right you know so that was the other part too so if you see one uh doing nesting behavior or obviously laying eggs um then you, you know that would be your indication as well so either way though i think there's a lot of room to work with um or a lot more room for research into gator gender stuff on that because it is pretty interesting but so how do they tell because they know immediately and that's the original question how did they know we have no idea i actually did a chat gpt <laughs> Uh, query to see what they would say and they said uh you know like oh by scent which i imagine is probably the big one um they do have these bular scent glands right underneath the jaw right here and they have scent glands in the cloaca as well and so i imagine they can tell by scent through those scent glands um they do have a really good sense of smell so that does make sense um so that's probably what it is but we don't like truly know exactly because it seems like they know immediately and like, does, would they, would they smell that, that, like, put it to you this way, like, if we put another male over there, like, Big Mac, like, sees him and knows. Like, it looks like they know on sight. Yeah, yeah maybe it's just, they see things that we don't. They're That's picking up on slight differences that we aren't 
picking yeah. up on. So that's what I was going to say next is maybe they can see visually things that we don't, we're not able to interpret or we haven't spent enough time analyzing how to tell, you know? So, because that's the other thing too, is when we have a lot of alligators, everybody's like, how do you tell them apart? They look identical. And I'm like, no, if you spend enough time, you see little differences. And of course, if you were one, you would see differences that even I can't see. So I think that's another one possibly is there are visual cues that we're just simply not aware of. There could be scent cues. Um, I think that's probably the most likely one. Uh, what ChatGPT said too is that they will check each other's cloaca. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, <laughs> I've no. been in this game 20 years. I've never seen that. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what, uh, what Chat was talking about on that one. But um, yeah, so how do they know? I, I would assume it is scent and then probably some visual things that we're not aware of, you know. Um, but yeah, so those are some really cool, interesting kind of topics as far as, as, far as they go. Anything you want to add on that? Mm-mm. No? Well, if you guys have any other questions about that little topic and, and that sort of thing, let us know in the comments. And don't be weird. Don't be weird. We're don't actually be trying weird. to have like a mature conversation. Um, you know, don't be weird. I have a sense of humor, obviously. You know, like, uh, trust me, if I wasn't trying to do an educational video, there's all kinds of jokes I crack. Um, but, <laughs> but, you know, like, we are trying to be educational and actually convey this information to people. So. Who else is going to teach you guys about alligator penises and cloacas? There's not a lot of people, so. Yeah. Well, I, I try. <laughs>